I'm getting a little nervous that maybe he actually forgot too, but I don't think so. So, so far, I think he thinks that I forgot and the prank is still going on. So Jordan, I heard that you have to eat with your fingers. <laughs> no forks at this place. In medieval times, they didn't have utensils. They used their hands. Hi, Sodi family. Guys, today I am going to be pulling a prank on Steve. But guys, I need to hurry because he is just in the other room. So I'm gonna whisper and I need to hurry and tell you guys what I'm gonna do before he walks in. All right, so don't say anything, right? Secret. Shh. I don't trust her. All right, guys, so today is Steve and my 15 year anniversary. Guys, that's a long time. We are getting old. And I have seen people do um, these type of pranks where they prank their significant other about like forgetting their anniversary. So like pranked my boyfriend, but I forgot our anniversary, or my husband. And guys, everyone that has done this has been together for like one year or less. And so, Forgetting your 15 year anniversary is way more likely to happen than forgetting your six month. And I say that because life happens and you get these people. And when you have six of them, you tend to forget things. So we still are at Great Wolf Lodge. We are checking out today. We have a few more things that we wanted to have the kids do. So this is a kids vacation. We plan this for the kids. This is all about them. We like, Steve and I are thinking about ourselves. It's the furthest thing from our mind, but I know that he remembers that it's our anniversary. But I thought I'm going to see how long I can go with pretending that it's not our anniversary and see how he reacts and just pretend like I completely forgot the day entirely. Remember, don't say a thing. Oh, she's gonna rat me out. All right guys, we're saying goodbye to our hotel room. We're gonna go downstairs, uh, load up the car, go downstairs and do a few more things at Great Wolf Lodge. I think there's an arcade, there's a bowling and some mining thing that the kids are gonna do. And then we're gonna head to our next place. We're going to an Airbnb later and dinner later tonight. And guys, I haven't mentioned anything about our anniversary. Steve hasn't said anything to me. I think he's waiting for me to say something. I think he really does think that I forgot and he's gonna catch me and be like, you forgot all about our anniversary. But little did he know that I remembered and I'm pranking him. Happy anniversary, Steve. No, Parker, look at get them good. Of course you would go to the Frozen one! <laughs> the claw machines are the best! Get her oh. head! No chance! Oh, oh so close! Not really. Thirty! Thirty tickets! You know when someone is older at an arcade because they go for getting ticket points and the younger ones do the claw machines that are impossible to win. Derek does all the claw machines. Um, excuse me, we won. Before, we won a lot of tickets doing the claw machines. I got a bunch of tickets. Ooh. Fair because Steven and Uncle Derek and my brother Jared came down to this arcade at like two in the morning last night because it's open 24 hours and they played tons of games while the girls were sleeping. Don't tell the girls. Oh, that almost went straight oh, to the jackpot. what is Whoa. it? What is it? <gasps> 20! Guys, you may not have saw it, but literally it was so close to the jackpot twice. when it bounced, like it bounced twice the around. The first time it came down, the jackpot. it went in it and bounced back out. So close, Jordan, but you got 20 points. Where's your tickets? You got 20 tickets. Woo, 20! That's it? Goodbye, Great Wolf Lodge, hello. Red Robin, guys, we're here to eat lunch 
we have this ridiculous 15 passenger van full of 14 people and we are gonna go get some lunch because we're hungry and we're getting lunch just because we're hungry not because it's a special occasion in any way shape or form because I still haven't said anything to Steve and he hasn't said anything to me so so far things are looking good I'm getting a little nervous that maybe he actually forgot to but I don't think so 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 far, I think he thinks that I forgot and the prank's still going on. Hey Parker, is today a special day? Yeah. Why? Because what is it? Because we're eating lunch. Yep, she's right. It's a special day because we're just eating lunch. Steven, can you believe that it is snowing in Utah right now? It's snowing in Utah? <laughs> but it feels so wonderful here. <laughs> That's oh one God, huge man. long table of everybody. <laughs> All right guys, so so far Prank Steve is working smoothly. We are at the Airbnb that we're gonna stay, that we're gonna be staying at tonight. We leave tomorrow. Um, and we said goodbye to Steve's grandpa who visited us for lunch. Um, Steve is just outside right now. And um, we have our special dinner that we are going to in just a few hours. And so I'm trying to come up with the best um, happy anniversary surprise ever with a very short amount of time. All right guys, so Steve and I have never been really big gift givers to each other or anything like that. So for our anniversary, we never tend to like give really big gifts, but I used to always make things for him and do kind of little heartfelt things for his birthday, for Christmas, and for his anniversary, and for our anniversary. And I thought, I was sitting here thinking, what could I do, you know, like to, to give, uh, something to give to him to be like, I remember it as our anniversary, gotcha. And I kept coming back to what I do almost every day and that is edit and film and create. And so um, I found some footage from when we were dating pictures and from our wedding day. And so I'm making like a mini slideshow and I'm gonna add some things to it, um, add some pictures of our recent family and kind of like show them what you know like what we've done in 15 years like we've ha we've we've become um a family and we've added six new people um to this family and a lot has happened in 15 years so i'm gonna get this all created um and then i'm gonna show you guys Hey guys, so Steve just came into my room and said, we need to go to dinner. So we got all the kids in the van and I will finish my stuff later. Let's do this. We are driving a bus. <laughs> so supposedly we're going to this like crazy awesome dinner with like knights and horses and like joust battles. What? That's all I and know. And food, and food. And food of course. Lots of food. Lots of food. Wait, what are we doing? Oh my gosh. Are we going in there? <laughs> the princess has entered the castle! We're cheering for yellow. All right, so this yellow night better win. We're putting all of my money on yellow, which is not that much, probably about $10. This is so cool. <laughs> so Jordan, I heard that you have to eat with your fingers. What? <laughs> no forks at this place. 
In medieval times, they didn't have utensils. They used their hands. Really? My hands are not clean. Yum. Oh, it smells good. Where's my silverware? So um, some people aren't tired in this bus. All right guys, we are back from dinner, back reunited with this little one. We left her at home because we just didn't think she would appreciate it as much. Um, she stayed home with grandma, but guys, about this prank, I'm thinking that my prank is working so well because he actually forgot about our anniversary. So I thought this whole time I was doing such a good job at pranking him and acting like I didn't remember in when in reality he really didn't remember because it's late um, it's at night we're getting ready for bed and he hasn't said anything to me our entire day is almost over and we haven't said happy anniversary once to each other so I mean am I a good prankster or not what yeah. Alright guys, so I don't want today to be a complete waste, so I am going to hurry and finish my gift that I am making and then I am going to email it to Steve once it's done. He is with Parker and he's going to be sleeping with her and helping her go to bed and I'm here with Blake. We had to separate the kids because we don't have a lot of sleeping arrangements here with all the people that we have with us and so um, he's going to be dealing with Parker so I'm going to finish the gift and then I'm going to email it to him and see um, if he really did forget about our anniversary which I'm pretty sure he did. Alright guys, finished um, the gift that I was working on for Steve. And Blake is asleep, so um, check it out. Here it is, guys.
well thank you guys for watching um make sure you subscribe to our channel click that notification bell so you can get notifications up when we post give us a big thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time bye Billy, my hands are not clean